In the pursuit of justice, one fundamental right stands strong, the right to restitution. Marcy's Law ensures that victims are not left to bear the financial burden of the crimes committed against them. This right guarantees that victims are entitled to compensation for the direct financial losses they've suffered. Whether it's medical bills, property damage, or lost wages, the law demands accountability from offenders. But how does this work in practice? Let's take a closer look at the process. After a defendant is found guilty of a crime, it's time for a sentencing hearing. The court considers all aspects of the case, including the victim's losses. The victim has the right to present evidence of their financial losses to the court. The judge carefully reviews all the evidence presented by the victim and may consult with the attorneys to calculate the precise amount of restitution. This ensures that victims receive fair compensation for their losses. Once the restitution amount is determined, the judge issues a restitution order as part of the offender's sentence. This order compels the offender to make amends for their actions by reimbursing the victim. It doesn't matter if an offender is sentenced to state prison or probation. We work with the court's restitution department, the California Department of Corrections, and Riverside County Probation to help ensure that your losses are represented wherever the offender is sentenced. This helps to make sure that if an offender has the means to pay their restitution, there is an active process to collect your losses. The right to restitution ensures that victims are not left to bear the burden of their losses alone. It's a crucial step towards achieving justice, and we are here to help you navigate the process of getting your losses officially recorded. A victim's voice will be heard.